Hey guys, happy Friday and also happy 50th episode of Nerdy in Many Ways. Thank you guys so much for helping me to, I guess, get the inspiration to make all 50 of these videos that I've made so far. I'm looking forward to another plenty more videos. And, you know, I actually decided to open this up to you guys as to what I should do for my 50th episode of this show. And uh, I guess I'm going to look through some of those comments right now and see what you guys chose. All right. Um, let's see here. So we got a good one uh, talking about my job at SVU, which if I haven't mentioned, it's sports broadcasting, so I can talk about that. Um, Chandler Heyer said face reveal, but uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, um, this one's from my friend Mad Matt 97 He said, nerdy in many ways tries pole dancing. <laughs> Yes, let's not do that. Um, huh. So yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do for my 50th episode today is just kind of talk about my job at Southern Virginia University. Now, I've kind of linked some of my uh, commentating gigs onto this channel, just some videos that were from the SVU Watch a YouTube channel, which if you go there, you can see a whole lot of me commentating a lot of sports here at Southern Virginia University. And so with this, I kind of just wanted to, uh, I guess, explain how I got the job in the first place and just kind of talk about the ins and outs of what I do every day. So basically, becoming a sports commentator here at SVU was definitely not in my plan when I came to college. In fact, I got out here and I was just kind of you know, going to school and I realized quickly that I needed a job if I wanted some more money. And so I decided to get into a job with the athletic department, which basically what they do with students for the most part is they have students come to games, wear like those neon vests, right? and you're basically security or you're like a traffic manager or whatever at certain sporting events and so that was fun it meant i got to go to a lot of sporting events and have a lot of good times there um, but i wasn't particularly enjoying it very much and so basically i just kind of went on look for more jobs and then my older brother asher actually came out here to southern virginia university to become i guess the head of broadcasting for a little bit and so I was like, well, broadcasting's pretty fun. I mean, I haven't really done it myself, but I watch sports a lot, and so I feel like I could be pretty decent at it. And so I went on there as a cameraman as well, just a guy who helped get things set up, and as far as some of the tech aspects is concerned. And so I did that for a while, and then one game I was going to do camera work for a lacrosse game here at Southern Virginia University. Now, keep in mind, I know nothing about lacrosse, or at least I didn't know anything about it at the time. I didn't go to any high schools that had lacrosse or I wasn't around places that lacrosse was very popular in and so I just really, literally had no exposure to lacrosse and so before one of these games we had a commentator call in sick and we had a hard time finding a guy to replace him and so my older brother kind of jokingly said to me well looks like you're gonna have to get on the mic for this one and I kind of just brushed it off thinking it was kind of a joke but as time for the game slowly came closer it became very apparent that he was not joking and then I was going to be put on the mic for a sport that I had no idea about, no, no clue whatsoever about it. And I ended up doing it. And I guess I did a good enough job for them to actually keep me on it. And eventually they had me start doing sports that I actually knew about, such as football, basketball. A little bit more into volleyball since my wife is a volleyball player here at Southern Virginia University. So I kind of got the ends of that. And so now basically what I do for the most part is just go to these games, commentate them. I do research beforehand about players, watch film, and kind of get the feel of what other teams are doing as well as our own. And even recently I've started going to different practices of these sports teams that I actually know about the sport. For, for example, like football and basketball. And kind of just taking notes and observing some things that I see in practice, which would help me to have a better broadcast overall. And it actually has helped me to... I guess have a better understanding of what I want to do with my life. You know, sports commentating is really fun. And I really thoroughly enjoy it. And I mean, I feel like through that is the reason that I ended up getting into this YouTube channel in the first place is because, you know, in commentating, you talk about things you notice on the field and things that uh, you spot or things that happen throughout the game. And so I got more comfortable with, I guess, voicing my own opinion of what I'm seeing and hence the idea of putting my opinion out there for things like movie reviews or video game reviews or just simply talk about things that I enjoy in general. And so, yeah, I got to credit having this channel to that job, honestly, which is actually pretty cool. So that's the 50th episode of Nerdy in Many Ways. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as well as for all you guys for chipping in on my Instagram post as to what I should do for my 50th episode. Sorry to disappoint about the pole dancing, but you know, 
I just, I can't do that. Nobody wants to see me do that or attempt that. So, anyway, again, thank you guys so much. You guys have a great Friday night. Don't forget our next segment, Nerds of the Round Table, featuring Ben and Whitney Spencer. And so it's going to be an awesome time. I'm really excited about it, and we'll see you then.